Hello and welcome to my channel, the place where I take you on RV tours, campground tours, hiking destinations, and much more. Now today I'm going to take you on a tour of the 2023 Thor Delano model 24FB. Here is an overview of the layout. Here is the window sticker for this RV. Here are the specifications. It has an LP capacity of 68 pounds, a fresh water capacity of 30 gallons, the wastewater is 38 gallons, the gray water is 38 gallons, it has a 3.6 kilowatt LP generator, a 100 watt solar panel, and a 1000 watt inverter. So let's get started. So there's a couple of opening windows right here, nice frameless windows. Right below, there are two 110 outlets. And below that, there is a large lockable storage area. Big awning on top. Tandem tires. Now this compartment houses the Onan 3600 LP generator. Another lockable storage right here. And below that, yet another lockable storage compartment. Right below is the connection for an exterior grill. And let's head on over to the rear backup camera above. Now down below there's a 5,000 pound tow hitch with a seven pin connection and take a look at the clearance. Moving to the driver's side, right here is the 30 amp plug-in. Below that is the utility center with your water connection and outdoor shower and down below is the sewer connection. Over here, there's a storage compartment. Down below, lockable large storage compartment. And on the side of that is the propane center. Opening up the driver's door, you can access your diesel fill. Nice sidestep for the driver. All right, take a look at the front of the RV. Side step for the passenger also. All right, time to check out the inside of this RV. Now there are power steps and there's a screen door right here. Okay, let's step inside. And this is what it looks like with the slide in. Now, as you can see, you can access the bathroom, although it is a tight squeeze to get back there. The kitchen is usable. The refrigerator will open a fraction of the way and the dining room is totally usable. And this is what it looks like with the slide out. All right, let's start with the cockpit area. Now, when the cab over bunks mattress is flipped over, I will have to duck my head, but since it's not flipped over the area right here, I can just take a step down to enter. Now the seat is comfortable. 
It does have this extension in the front, adjustable armrest. So the steering wheel has some controls on the left side right in front of the driver there's a little storage area with a couple of cup holders in the middle there's a storage compartment with a 12 volt and a usb and in front of the passenger there's another little storage area that is not covered with two additional cup holders down below there's a ledge for some additional storage Moving to the center, there's this large touchscreen infotainment center. And directly below, there are four additional cup holders. There's a USB port right here on the side. And down below, there's a 12 volt along with another USB port. Now above the driver and passenger, there's this little ledge for some additional storage. All right, let's check out the rest of this RV. Now the passenger and driver seats do swivel around and there's a mount right in between for a pedestal table so we can swivel those around and use that table. Let's check out the over cab bunk. Now it's a good size for one person. There's a window on each side and it comes with these window coverings that you snap into place. There's a big skylight above, which is electronic, and the switch for that is in the cockpit area. And you just extend and retract using that switch. These are the brackets for the ladder to access that area, and that ladder is stored in the back wardrobe area, which I'll show you later. Now this over cab bunk is rated for 500 pounds. Right over here, are two USB ports and a little netting for storage to stick your iPhone or glasses, whatever. Perfect for when you're up there or even down here. Now at the main entrance is the control panel. Down below is a radio multimedia system. And below that is where the fire extinguisher is stored. Directly across, there are two 110 outlets a switch for the step, the inverter, the leveling system controller, and the main power switch. Now let's check out the dining area. So underneath each of the bench seats, there's this pull-out drawer, and that is a pretty long, spacious drawer. There's that one, and this is what the other one looks like. Lots of storage there. So let's check out this dining area. Nice and comfortable seats. It also has a seat belt on each side, so seat belts for two. Nice large table, two cup holders, and a wireless charging pad. Now this table can also be used not only for eating, but also for working. There are two 110 outlets down below, so you can plug in some devices. Now. Right over here, there's a big window area. There are two windows that open. So it opens up awning style, and they each have a screen. The window on the left also serves as an emergency exit. Now, underneath the upper cabinets, there's a speaker on each side, a couple of lights that you can easily push on and off, and a light switch that illuminates the top of the cabinets. Now I'm going to open up these cabinets. There are three doors and check that out. It opens up into one big unit. Love the glossy Euro style. Okay, now this dinette area also has this cushioned backrest so you can just lean back, put your legs up and enjoy viewing the TV which is located directly across. Now this dining area also transforms into a bed. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm gonna start first by removing these backrests and just setting them aside for a minute. Then I'm gonna pull up on each of these bench cushions. Now I'm simply going to lower the tabletop. And now that that's in place, I'm gonna grab each of the backrests 
and make sure that the bench seats are firmly in place. I'm gonna put the backrests back over here. There goes that first backrest cushion. I'm gonna make sure this side is firmly in place and then just simply place in that second backrest cushion. And this is the bed. Let's check it out. Nice and cushiony, good size for one person. All right, so now I'm gonna put it back into a dining area. So each of the backrests go back against those Velcro tabs. Pull up on the cushions and raise the table. And it comes up quite nicely. Put the cushions back in place and there you go. That wasn't too bad. Now let's check out the kitchen. It's located directly across from the dining area. And check out all this counter space. That is a good amount of space. So let's start with the sink area. The sink does have a cover and it is pretty light. And that is a pretty big round stainless steel sink. It has a tall curved faucet with a pull out spray hose. Right in the center of the counter, there's a power tower with two 110 outlets and two USB ports. Perfect for plugging in any appliances if necessary. There's a covered two burner Dometic propane cooktop. Nice glass backsplash right here. Big window area in front and there are two separate windows that do open up awning style. They each have their own screen and there's this one large pull down privacy shade. Now underneath the upper cabinets there are two 110 outlets, a couple of lights and some light switches. This one turns on the under the cabinet lights. This one turns on the lights over the cabinets. And this one turns on the light by that glass backsplash. Very pretty. All right, let's check out the upper cabinets. This one's a really tall, generous size. Three hinges on top. TV is right here, so I'm gonna open that up. There is some storage behind it. It does have a shelf in there. There are two 110 outlets and the TV is plugged into one and the cable is also plugged in there. Cabinet to the right of that TV is the same size as the other one, nice and tall. Okay, let's check out below. So there's a convection microwave, good size. Nice large drawer below. On the side there are four drawers and they're good size. All the same size. And they shut nicely. To the left of that there are these cabinet doors and it has a nice generous storage area and there's a waste bin located in there. Now right here on the side there's a cabinet above which is a good size. Now below is the freezer and refrigerator so let's check it out. The freezer is pretty large. It has an adjustable shelf and an adjustable bin in the door. Now the refrigerator has four levels of storage, this really large pull-out tray below, and three adjustable bins in the door. Now let's check out the living room slash bedroom area. So the sofa's pretty comfortable. 
Now, the viewing of the TV is not all that great because I do have to position myself on a slant so that I can get a good view of that TV. On the side of me here, there are two 110 outlets, two USB ports, and a 12 volt. There's even this little ledge, which is a nice end table, and it can also serve as a nightstand because this also converts into a Murphy bed. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm gonna start by removing the cushions along with the backrest cushions. Okay, now it is an electronic Euroloft bed, so I'm gonna come over here where the controller is located, it has the key in it, and I'm gonna push on that down arrow. Now I'm going to flip this on down and this part is connected with a very strong magnet. So I'm going to pull down on that. Now I'm going to continue putting this down and there's the Murphy bed. Okay, let's give it a try. Whoa. Okay, it's a good size for two people. Now, on my left, there are two USB ports and a little netting storage, perfect for your iPhone, your reading glasses, or any book that you may be reading. Right above, there are three cabinets, and they open up into one single large unit. Below, there are a couple of push on and off lights, one on that side too, and a switch for the over the cabinet lighting. On this side right here, there's an opening window with a screen and a pull down privacy shade. All right, so I'm gonna put this back up into the sofa position. So now I'm gonna head back to the Euroloft controller and push just a little bit on that up button just to release the pressure from these metal legs. And I'm gonna fold that up, bring this back over. And now I'm going to raise the bed. Okay, I'm gonna put back the backrests. And now it's back in the sofa position. I do wanna mention that it does have this nice curtain that you pull all the way around. So it gives you some privacy when you're using the Murphy bed. Now, right on the side of the sofa area, there are some switches for the bed ceiling, the front ceiling light. You can start and stop the generator and turn on the master light and turn it off. Directly across from that sofa area is a wardrobe, so let's check that out. It is a really big size. There's a hanging rod in there. And there are three drawers below. Nice and big, all the same size. All right, now let's check out the bathroom. Take a look. Okay, so I'm gonna step in and check it out. I am gonna start with the shower. It is nice and separated. So I'm going to step on in, and it's a decent size. I've got a good amount of arm room. There's a good amount of headspace because there's a curved skylight above. Now this is the Shower Miser hot water recycling system right here. Let's check out the shower head. It doesn't have any adjustments, but it does have a start stop switch. There are three ledges for storage right there. 
Now, the shower door is comprised of this plastic, but I like that it's curved on top, giving you a little more arm room when you're in here. Okay, stepping out of there, right on the side here is the water heater controller and the light switch for the bathroom. There are two hooks right above. Okay, nice medicine cabinet mirrors. So opening that up, there are three levels of storage. Big storage area right there. A little bit of countertop space. A good size sink below. There are two 110 outlets located on the left of the sink and a little towel bar, hand towel bar on the side. Below the sink, there's a cabinet. And that's a good amount of storage in there. Now the toilet is a big size, however, it is plastic. There's also two 110 outlets located on the side of the toilet along with a toilet paper holder. Now there's another wardrobe right here in the bathroom. So let's open those up and it's a good size. The hanging rods in there. Now this is where the ladder for that over cab bunk ladder is stored and the pedestal leg and tabletop is also stored in there. There are three drawers below all the same size and a good amount of storage in there. There's a power air vent above and a sliding pocket door closes it all off to give you privacy. Now there is AC ducted throughout this coach and there's another power air vent located right above the dining area. So that wraps it up for this tour of the 2023 Thor Delano Model 24FB. Now the bathroom was a good size, lots of storage in there. In fact, lots of storage throughout, big kitchen area. And there are three separate sleeping areas. However, two of them are located in the slide. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for lots more videos. Bye for now.